Hello and welcome to my interview with Kelly Santiago on Dodge This with the Game Station. Just wanted to open this up with a short vlog to tell you guys that I have been reading your criticism and your feedback and I will be changing a few things so there won't be an activity anymore and we're going to be changing uh, where I'm doing this a little bit so I wanted you guys to know we have been hearing your cries and your pleas. This is the last in this sequence and after this they will all be changing a little bit so hope you guys enjoy this because Kelly Santiago is rad. And I will talk to you guys again later. So long. Dodge this. Hi guys, this is Dodger with The Game Station and you are watching Dodge This, which is a show where I do interviews with people who are involved in the video game business or in nerdy things in general. So here today is Kelly Santiago and she is the president of That Game Company, the company that made Flow and Flower and are currently working on Journey. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. I think this is my um, actually first YouTube show appearance. So I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah. Very nervous. That's <laughs> awesome. Don't be nervous. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay. okay. Okay, so today we are going to be making beautiful flower arrangements while we talk about your business and and video games and all sorts of nonsense. So. Okay, cool. I think there are actually a lot of flowers here from our game, but I think I'm gonna actually <laughs> yes. use this as my base. Oh, this. you should! So, Please do. Yeah, we'll make him pretty by, by the end of this. I think you're really awesome already. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so you are really well known for the TED talk that you did about video games as art. <laughs> Have you guys gotten a lot of recognition for for that TED talk and for really making a stand about your video games being art and and being from such a different standpoint? Yeah, well what I think was um, kind of cool about it was that, so that game company, we have a mission to create games that push the communicative boundaries of video games as a medium. And part of that is because we all believe that um, video games can be a really expressive, uh, true artistic medium. And the games that we make are just one way in which we try to prove that and sort of make that happen more often. We also right. do a lot of postmortems, talk, uh, try and talk very candidly about our production process so that other developers can learn from it and um, hopefully also make games that express a wide variety of emotions. So I thought it was really cool that um, I think that TED Talk just also showed people um, more of what we think um, as far as the capabilities of video games. Do other game companies get to sit in on a post on your postmortems, or how how do they know how your process went and and how? Yeah, well, we'll try and um, do interviews and articles uh, that we generate ourselves um, through game publications like Game Developers Magazine and Gama Sutra and that, that kind of stuff, right, um, yeah. Kotaku. Um, but also at game conferences like the Game Developers Conferences uh, that are happening out all over the world and <laughs> um, and other other game related conferences um, of talking in, about our process because it's definitely a cool thing that you can do as um, a more independent developer, a small developer, is that there's no one to tell us what we can and can't say about what right. went wrong. I think a lot of um, developers are, and publishers certainly are more wary to talk about what went wrong because it shows, you know, it reflects badly, it shows that you messed up, but right. to me, um, especially because games are still just young and in this um, extreme state of growth right now, that it's really important for us to sort of check our egos and be really candid about that stuff and really help Definitely. each other in meaningful ways. Yeah, and the games are, I mean, they're they are doing very well. It's not like people are going to suddenly <laughs> say, oh, well, I guess this game isn't as cool as I thought it was, <laughs> since uh, they had issues along the way. But, so how long would you say that it takes to start from like this idea, like with Flower, of you know, oh, maybe we should make a game where you're the wind to mm -hmm. it being like like the final product. Um, in general, uh, so the initial, what we'll start a project with, the initial idea is like an emotion or the way we want the audience to feel. So in Flower, it was this feeling of escaping through your PS3, being able to come home, check the stress from the day, and, um, and just escape into uh, a serene environment, which then through that process, we decided upon the the environment of the 
the large flower fields and how that would evolve through the game. And so, um, so that sort of process from the initial nugget of an idea <laughs> to having an idea of who you are and what you do in the game and sort of the overall progression, I think on average is about a year. Um, and then it's just a matter of how long it then takes to flesh out the rest of the experience. Uh, so for Flower, it was the, from the very beginning to shipping, it was two years. So what caused that game company to decide to start off with what, what seems to be more of a humanoid character in Journey? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely something different um, yeah. for us. <laughs> it's, uh, it came from um, the initial idea that the team had was to create an experience in which you could feel a sense of awe and wonder and that um, in our daily lives now we're so powerful. We have the ability to connect with anyone, anywhere, at any time. Um, we can fly, we can drive super fast. Um, and so we're missing now kind of these moments to just be in awe of something and contemplate it. Um, and so I think from there evolved this small person that maybe the player could connect to um, in a large environment of, of the desert. Well, this actually has to be the end of our Game Station interview, so thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you. And we are going to continue talking on my channel, Press Heart to Continue, so if you would like to see the extended one, you can go ahead and click on on the Stormtrooper <laughs> <laughs> flower arrangement that has happened here. And it will take you to our extended one in which we're just going to keep on talking and hanging out. So thank you so much for watching.